All right, y'all, welcome back to the vessel. Bring this is going to be a general um, read. This is going to be a general love read, all right, for the collective. You could be any sign. All right, we're going to see what goes ahead and comes out for y'all. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you like my style of reading, okay? And we're going to go ahead and get started. Oh, honey, there ain't so ones, baby, all right? So since it is a love reader for like some of you guys with the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, have somebody coming in with an offer of, why am I hearing, sexual arousal? All right, so I'm getting like you turn somebody on. I'm getting a lot of lustful, seductive energy off this one here, honey. Like, what's that um, big wop, big dig energy, whatever you want to call it. I'm hearing like this right here. This is a um, a blessing sexually, okay? We're going to see how far this goes. I'm getting like, ooh, honey, you know what it be. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Okay, I'm getting here like um, this is a type of, this new whether you're with this person now or what's about, what's, about, what's about to come in honey if you speak this is that um you have to put the towels down type of energy because it's <laughs> honey okay stop all right so i'm getting a lot of ooh, like you're gonna be somewhere in the clouds somewhere with this person this person gonna have you Okay, we're gonna move on. All right, but I'm getting it's like a loving energy. I'm getting um, you could be a water sign. This could be a water sign. You could be a fire sign. This could be a fire sign. But I'm getting a very like, this person is going to like definitely um, this person is definitely going to um, I feel like caress you. This is that type of like, honey, kiss your legs, scratch your your back, pull your that listen closer type energy. Yep, they've been waiting on you. <laughs> With just two ones, honey, they've been waiting on you, okay? You could have sent this from this person some pictures, or this person could have um sent you some pictures. All right, y'all could have already done did the deed, and you done did it for, for this person, for Darnell, Dante, I don't know, this that's the two names I was getting, honey. All right. <laughs> I feel like this person, this person could be African. They like to wear turbans a lot. This could be a woman. This could be a very dark woman. I'm hearing mm, brown skin. You know, I love your brown skin. I don't know where your begins. All right. So I was like, you that chocolate honey but you that honey chocolate <laughs> and i'm not even talking about you could be light skin all right you could be but i mean when i say honey chocolate it's like if you have a very dark beautiful complexion it's like you glowing honey like period like woo, man or woman i feel like honey this person has been waiting on you they've been waiting for somebody on like you're on their level sexually why am i here sexually inspired honey how like I'm trying to tell you, all right, something to do, like, you make this person happy, like, woo, you make this person happy, all right, and if this is, if this is somebody that you haven't sexually had, um, relations with yet, or haven't met yet, when you do meet this person, they can't wait to, <laughs> they can't wait to get it from you, oh, why we got the three swords here, though, oh, we got the three swords here, spirit, Is this a situation that's going to end? Was this some type of lustful energy that's going to come to an end? Somebody feels like they missed this opportunity with you. Or somebody. Let's clarify. Ooh. 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 Okay, so for somebody here, it ain't that. Somebody's heartbroken over this new beginning that you're having, this new lustful, seductive energy. You out here looking good. You out here looking sexy, honey, man or woman. You out here, people wanting to, you know, I'm hearing like word spreads fast. People talking about you. They talk about how they want to, you know, arouse you, period, right? They want to change your world. They want to wine and dive you. They want to investigate you. They want to look. <laughs> they want to look inside you, honey, okay? They trying to find some information about you. For some of y'all, this is a Pisces, or you could be a Pisces, a Virgo, you could be a Virgo. They trying to find out some information about you, honey. They trying to, like, how can I get in them sheets and in between them cheeks? I'm trying to. Anyways. Listen, listen, Linda. This old person, your past person, I'm here for somebody got for some of y'all, your past roommate, for some of y'all, your family. Ooh, the ears itching, honey. They know your vibe. 
they know this person's vibe and they 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 feel heartbroken over y'all's new energy. Like they could have been trying to compete at some point in time. There was some type of competition or chaos and conflict within this family or this person that you have kids with, your baby father, baby mother. Um they feel abandoned and left out, or they feel like they know you're gonna, you know, abandon them or neglect them when you go towards this new beautiful energy. And honey, I I, I see why because it's feeling really bright and right and ooh, you know what I'm saying. But death, you could be a Scorpio. All right, there's something that's about to transform because something was unstable, unsecure, or insecure uh, to begin with. Whether it is this family dynamic, this person you have kids with, whoever was in trying to be in competition, ha causing the conflict. All right. You could be a um, fire sign. Yeah, this person is upset. I feel like they lost the battle when it came to fighting for you. All right, yeah, I feel like now you have too many options or too many opportunities. All right? Yeah. I feel like they missed the opportunity with their empress or emperor. That's the truth with the ace of swords. They pissed. All right? Because you looking gut. Okay? I feel like ever since they lost you, it's like they lost some type of wealth. Whether they're still financially stable or not, they could have physically, you know, went through some type of financial um, bankruptcy here. For some of y'all, their finances are stagnant. For others of you guys, um, it's a situation where they feel stagnant. It's like, since you've been gone, I can't breathe out of earth. <laughs> All right, but yeah, the devil, this person was toxic here. For some of you guys, this was um, a mother energy. For some of you guys, this was a, a, a somebody that you have um, kids with energy, but it's like you're the empress here. You decided to like free yourself from this energy. All right, you could be a Capricorn, or you could be a with a Capricorn. Okay, you could be a water sign. I definitely feel like there's, there's new love coming in towards you as you're going through the spiritual awakening or awakening to more um, in depth, connecting more with your emotions as you're being guided away from deception, toxicity, negativity, toxic cycles, just things that, you know, spirit, God, the universe is guiding you away from. You're learning how to more alchemize your emotions and go through, you know, deal with, I'm hearing how to discern more. Something about your discernment is being strengthened so you can better pick out illusions, deception, all of that. But this situation is being put to rest here. All right, somebody, um, I feel like, is protecting you, um, whether that's physically, um, I'm hearing in both realms, okay? But I also feel like you are protected, your position is protected, you could be a Sagittarius, all right? I definitely feel like you could have went through some type of divorce or breakup at some point in time, whether it's with another person, a contract, you had to um, move or you had to revert and move back home for some of you guys due to some type of betrayal or conflict, chaos, change within a family dynamic, friend dynamic. I do feel like you had to defend yourself against some type of lies, slander, somebody trying to, you know, come against you, whatever lies, slander, communication um, was talked about or whatever somebody was trying to say, the truth was found out the, in the situation, clarity, the lies were unsuccessful, the high priestess here, you are the high priestess, you have freed yourself from this situation with the eight of swords here, six of swords, you are now being moved on and move towards your purpose, move towards this entrepreneurship, this leader, this, this place of where you can control, feel empowered, all right, and loved, all right, whatever was hidden is coming to light, the truth is, has found out, whoever was trying to manipulate the situation, you know, whatever they took from you, it will have to be returned, all right, whether this is finances, whatever was stolen, if you had something stolen in the situation, you could be an Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius, you could be a Pisces or dealing with a Pisces, you could be a Taurus or dealing with a Taurus, so these are the signs involved, whatever was stolen or will be returned back to you, whoever lied about a situation could want to come back with an apology, tower moment, this is going to be an unexpected situation and change, somebody's going to have the no choice but to give up in this situation after they've been trying to fight so hard to cause burdens for you, all right, you're too strong. You're too courageous. You're too brave. You could be a Leo. All right. And these people who are trying to manipulate their uh, power, manipulate their authority, trying to make these investments on your behalf. All right. Trying to drain your energy. All right. For some of you guys, um, this could be a Leo or a, or a Cancer that was trying to do this. The truth is going to be found out in this situation about this person trying to stagnate you from being able to move forward, move on, or trying to do something to your car. Literally hearing somebody could have poured something to do with someone pouring gasoline on someone's car is significant in this read. Um, something's the truth. Something's going to be found out about that as well. That's what this person's in fear, worry, anxious, stressed about. 
This could have been somebody you were married to, somebody that could have connections to your bank account at some point in time, or this could have been somebody you were dealing with that was very um very insecure and unstable. All right, they're looking at you know whether this was worth it. They're looking at I'm hearing the consequences to their actions, honestly, and I feel like you're looking at whether it's worth it to keep pushing forward, to keep moving on, to keep setting these boundaries because you don't see your dreams, your wishes fulfilled yet. All right, but there's going to be a leap of faith. You could be an Aries that's going to require you. You know, there's some type of judge here. I feel like um, if you're dealing with a court case, it's going to that's going to there's going to be some type of ruling that's going to allow you to take some type of leap of faith towards another investment that's going to be worth it. All right, because something was unjustifiable here. All right, somebody went to stag me you from these options, from these opportunities, you're still going to be able to travel, you're still going to be able to move forward, you're still going to be able to pull clients, you're still going to be able to um, get subscribers, you're still going to be able to invest in your craft, in your brand, in your business, you're still that, you're still that, you still got the source, period. All right? And this group's going down. Whatever plan, plot, lies, deception, narcissistic traps were set, it's going to be found out, and your, your intuition was already blinking. It's like you already knew what was going on, right? These people were jealous of your new beginning, of your energy, of your essence. Could have been jealous of you and your partner, whether this is somebody you're already with or will be with, all right? And I'm getting a King of Pentacles energy. This could be a business owner or somebody who has a high grade, high status of money. It's going to go through some type of bad fortune here. Yeah. As you... um. As you take charge and lead over your life and your future, three of wands, as your blessings arrive for you, all right? So I'm getting, like, getting this disciplined energy, prepared to be able to continue working hard towards your dreams. Because some of you guys could be in a place of where you feel like your environment's not stable, not secure, you're not financially where you want to be, you're not, you know, you're not living your dreams, your best life. Oh, but you will. It's because these people were trying to manipulate behind the scenes. And for some of y'all, this definitely is somebody you have kids with of some type of family, feminine energy, who's very cold-hearted, um, mother energy, grandmother energy, all right? This person was supposed to protect you. They didn't protect you. They were supposed to bring peaceful conflict, put a situation to rest. They didn't put a situation to rest, all right? That's why you were sitting there, and now you're over it. Now they're trying to come back, offer abundance, offer, you know, you're in materialistic things or they see your growth, they see your wisdom, they see your strength, they see how stable you are, they see your garden. All right, now they want to come and offer some love, but it's manipulation behind that cup. All right, it's fear, it's anxiety, it's stress behind that cup. All right, because you're getting your, you really are getting your wishes, desires, your hopes and dreams, desires. It's projection, they're projecting onto you. It's not real, it's an illusion. All right, they want to keep you here at an unequal take and give or keep you wondering if you were worthy of reciprocation. Of course you are. If you're worthy of this gift, of course you are. All right, and these people, if they were expecting some type of income or outcome or income or some type of whatever they were expecting in the situation they're not going to receive it all right you're moving on moving forward all right you could be a cancer moving towards your mission destined purpose and that's the truth of the ace of swords all right you've done the inner the inner healing you you you, you there was there was hidden triggers hidden things what's inside you that you need to heal and you did the work to figure out what that was you're still doing the work and whatever was hidden Possibly some of you guys in the past about your childhood, all right, for some of you guys, you're freeing yourself from that, from childhood wounds or from whatever the secret is within a childhood or with a child is what I'm getting here. Right? Yeah, exposed. The moon in reverse is being exposed. All right, this is what you can't see. There's a lot of exposure going on around you. All right, that's why there's always a need to trust in the unknown. It's happening very quick. If it's not going on currently, it's about to, just like that. One, two, three, when I said that. All right, somebody's going to miss opportunity to you. They're going to see that this is not worth it. Ten of swords in reverse. It's just the done done. All right, the situation is going to be put in the past. You could be an Aquarius. And whatever is being exposed, it's going to be exposed in the public, in the forefront, in the spotlight. It's going to be heard about. All right, you could be a Scorpio. All right, death. All right. Mm. Mm. Somebody could end up passing away in a situation, but I feel like 
this is transformation for you, like death and rebirth, right? There's this situation, whatever is going on is going to be ended. There's, so there's going to be a lot exposed, man. And then you're going to be able to go towards this new commitment, this new beginning, this new life. For some of you guys, this is going to be with your husband, with your wife, all right? For some of you guys, this is a new job that's going to set you up for your life. It's like whenever the situation ends, whenever it comes to an end, all right, because you rejected a situation because you held back and held back onto yourself, judgment here, this new beginning, this new gift, this blessing, God has already given it to you. You just have to walk into it, all right? And whatever they were working on, plotting on, working real hard to, you know, do, it's not it's not going to work. It didn't work. Yeah, it was foolish. It was all illusions. It was, none of it was... Mm. God is bringing you limitless opportunities. All right? And all you have to do is walk into it. Because... He's going to bless you in front of your enemies. They're going to watch you. Those that betrayed you, they're going to have no choice but to watch. I'm trying to tell you. All right. What do we have? Yeah, transformation. You can be a Scorpio. Joy and contentment. Transformation, ease and grace, joy and contentment. That's what's in your future, baby. All right. Come back for your next read. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all. Peace.